Well, clearly, uh, five minute talks are a challenge. Um, and uh, so, all I can give you is uh, an introduction to the Vaquita um, bycatch problem. And it's something that everybody um, in Southern California should know about because it's a problem that's just uh, 100 miles, 120 miles from here. Um, the Vaquita is a very small porpoise. Um, it's the smallest porpoise and um, one of the smallest cetaceans in the world, although it's been argued by the <coughs> Kiwis that it might be another one. Um, it's found only in the very far northern Gulf of California. And uh, all too sadly, this is the most common view that most um, fishermen have. Um, most people in the area have a vaquita. That is, vaquita on the beach. They're bycaught in gillnet fisheries uh, for fish, sharks, rays, and surprisingly um, for shrimp. Um, some surveys were done um, by uh, collaboration between the Mexican government and U.S. government um, aboard the um, NOAA survey vessel David Star Jordan. On the left there you can see the survey transect lines and um, in the little circles there are where the vaquita were actually seen on those surveys. And uh, you can get an idea of uh, how small the area is because it's less than the width of the Gulf of California and it's probably only the top 10% of the Gulf. Um, sadly, these surveys showed that uh, the population estimates declined from the survey that was done in 97, 560 animals, to that done in 2008, about 240 animals. This is a, a bigger than 50% decline, uh, decline rate of about 7.4% per year. Um, the problem is remarkably similar, similar to a problem that occurred in the Yangtze River uh, for this species. It's the Yangtze River Dolphin, or Baiji. Um, there were some surveys for that, and sadly, a very unhappy ending. In 2007, we did a um, survey of the entire length of the Yangtze River. Not one animal was seen, and the animal was declared probably extinct. The, the next year, and so now they have uh, IUCN status of uh, uh, critically endangered but probably extinct. The uh, decline rate was a little bit faster, but um, you could see it coming um, a long way, and not enough was done. The fishing in the Gulf of California that um, uses gill nets to, and takes these uh, vaquita is very small scale artisanal fisheries. It's pongas launched from the beach or from a back of a pickup truck. Um, these are um, 20 to 25 foot um, vessels with a single outboard. And it's, it's sort of a, I call it artisanal commercial. It's artisanal in the sense that it's very small scale and it's uh, local entrepreneurs. Um, it's commercial in that most of the product, most of the fishery product goes to the United States, so it's not for local consumption. Uh, it's particularly the large and expensive blue shrimp that are caught down there. How big is the problem? Well, um, in the early 1990s, the fishery, fisheries bycatch was estimated at 72 vaquitas per year. Uh, that's the only estimate that we had uh, from an actual scientific study. The population then was about 567. Um, that means, from a conservation perspective, um, about 13% per year were being taken. The maximum growth rate is thought to be somewhere around 4%, certainly not exceeding 8% per year. And so the vaquita appear to be heading for a certain extinction, and the problem is huge. But it also is important that you understand the problem from an individual fisherman's perspective. A local fisherman, they seldom see these animals. They're extremely cryptic. With over 800 pongas fishing in the vaquita refuge, each boat would find a vaquita in their nets less than once every 10 years. How can you convince somebody that never sees the animal and who might catch one in 10 years of fishing that this is a serious conservation issue? And that is really the, where the big gulf is. What are the solutions? One is reducing fishing effort, and the government of Mexico has increased in enforcement of their per permit system to reduce illegal fishing. Um, they've also initiated a voluntary buyout of permits. The illegal fishing is reduced, 
and the uh, legal fishing has been reduced um, as well by about 28 percent. But the total number of vessels fishing now is still greater than that when that study was done in the 1990s. There were only 500 vessels then. So um, when Bakia were cl crashing, clearly um, there were too many vessels, and there are clearly too many vessels now. Um, you can establish vaquita protection areas. That's been done. There's a vaquita refuge. And uh, serious enforcement began in 2008. However, the vaquita refuge only includes about 50% of the population. You can, you can develop alternative vaquita safe fishing methods. Um, the first two measures were successful in buying us time, but um, they really will not prevent the extinction of vaquita. Um, pingers um, are not going to do it either. They don't reduce bycatch by enough to save the species. Um, these, I think we're all putting a lot of uh, hope in these experimental fishing, fishings using small trawls that can be pulled by these pongas. And uh, the initial results in just this year are, are for the first time promising. It really looks like they can catch a, a, uh, and, and earn a living using all these alternative gear. Um, the government of Mexico has initiated a, um, a monitoring scheme, so hopefully we'll know if these measures are sufficient. Um, 64 sea pods were deployed over the last summer in the grid here. That grid is the shape of the Paquita Refuge. It's the only place where you could deploy, deploy them and not have them caught in nets. Um, and so this acoustic monitoring will give us a chance to, to find out if things are going well. Um, last, I want to talk about what, what this means for California and, and what lessons we can take home. One is act fast. Conservation problems only get worse if you ignore them. The required action to achieve sustainability uh, may be painful. It would have been painful if it was done in 1990, but it's absolutely worse now. And the other thing is to act smart. Realize that science has a role to play, but science is not going to save the species. Um, the Vaquita will be saved by conservation advocacy, action, and the motivation um, of, uh, and motivated uh, for participating fishermen. It can't be done without them. Thank you. California, there was a bycatch was exceeding um, PBR and was exceeding, exceeding sustainable levels. And as a consequence um, of that, and uh, the consequence of the capture of sea otters and seabirds, um, the fishery was pushed offshore in Central California so far that it was um, essentially the gillnet fishery became unprofitable to um, to work. And so um, we achieved sustainability by basically closing the fishery.